Good evening, everybody. It's Friday night, and I am back. I kind of got the uh, ready. <laughs> I, I set the timer off and everything, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I gotta get in here and do stuff. Um, and I have not done any of the things I need to do yet. Um, so... Give me a moment here. We're going to do it live. We're going to do it live, as we do. Um, actually, I didn't even um, wake up the uh, my laptop to do the programming on, so uh, give me a minute there. Check on that. That's the wrong button on the monitor. Uh, let me click on that right now. Oh, of course not. Not connecting. Not connecting right. Uh, give me a minute here again. Yeah. That. Uh, sorry, you're working on that for something. Okay, we're having technical issues. The actual computer was completely blocked up. It wouldn't even respond to its own keyboard. So that's a fun time.
Alright, I don't know if it can hit here. Difficulties as we do. Not working at all. Just a little bit of a problem with uh a little bit of a problem with the trying to get the mouse over to there. Okay, let's see if that better. Ah, there we go. All right. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Uh, just uh, having some issues with the with the uh, laptop, but it is appears to be working now. We'll see in a minute. Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay. It's, uh, it's working now. Oh, friends. Took a little bit. Oh, uh, welcome on in. Welcome, 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 everybody. Um, it's <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of a late start. Um, but it is. Uh, but I'm here and uh, ready to fire up some things. Um, you know, room open. Four pages. Thank you very much. Um, alright. Uh, we'll start out as we usually do 
Uh, seeing what pull requests. Oh, I got freaking build too. I forgot about that. Good thing this is kind of a random, random uh, programming night here. I don't have anything specific to do. Just a lot of cleanup stuff to do. I get this. I gotta figure out where in here I set environment variable. And I must have done it somewhere because things are uh alright. Um okay, hang on a second here, friends, while I log in and do my and do my thing here. on things as we do i hope everyone's been having a good week uh, thus far and a good start to your weekend hopefully um and uh hope that everything accomplished this week needed need it done Second, while I look at the here, is there not? Something that uh, enabled this to run before. And I don't remember what it was that I did. So I've had this problem before where, I guess I'll bring this up here. I had this problem before where um, I've added stuff to the the preferences. Or I've added stuff to the properties file and um, it broke the test because they were looking for the environment variable. Which obviously isn't set for here. Um remember what I did for it because it's saying because uh, I added the uploads base directory and it's saying could not resolve placeholder uploads directory which is correct but I did something to get around this for testing, I thought.
I mean, I should be seeing this as I should be seeing that failure of local too. Um, so really, let's try, let's try running and even test, uh, locally here. So we'll do project team. Make everything short, everything's clean and built directly. Alright, and then run maiden. Even Theoretically, this should fail with the theme. It doesn't. Oh, it doesn't because it's, um, it finds it in my other file. It doesn't find, find it in the environment very well. Um, Rod. Interesting. It doesn't have doesn't have a problem with any of these files. Is that because of where I'm using them? I wonder. Or is it because uh, where's my oh my test. Oh, maybe I gotta put it in hex properties. Wait a minute, let me just, I don't remember what's in this file. Oh, I do have it in there. You have it in there. So, this TV can fade. First of all, I think none of these are actually based on what I've seen in the in the main area so I think I'm gonna fix these right now and setters getters on there and then uh, put the environment Property. 
This uh this string contain the int organization does not contain a partial integer. Um but is the default care about is the data force there so I'm gonna say I'm gonna make these private sick of argument I think sure I was not you Probably is. Make, make that bean. Not confused. 
knocks that stuff out. So... What's interesting is in the test config here, I don't actually... Hmm. I think I know what's going on. I didn't actually add it to the test screen here. So... I'll put it in the test DB config either. Um, just do class test common config. And I need this. And I'll just do the public. What did I like? Um, mean, mean. Oof, excuse me. Um, see, that's probably why, because this auto wiring base dirt can't find it. I did find it when I ran it locally, but, um, change that other one to be instead of get the I can rename because oh. <laughs> it's hidden right now and I don't want to get the um I need to force this as broad. Is there a let me give my off a way to here? I think you can do it with setting the profile yourself.
Yeah, if you stay off that. Right, okay. If I stay uh profile, um run as run even build um past Could not resolve voice folder environment hex closed directory uh, in the hex. hex application config forty eight. So. Property value associated with a given key are null if the given key can't be resolved. I'm getting an illegal argument. Is it just because it brought a null back? Let's try to make a bean. Let's try to make a null bean. having a problem with the brand new ones do oh wait this i build it you know from upload directory no i don't think i don't think i did because it's found this so Here because it, in theory it should be failing on on all of them. They're not 
unless I unless I put them somewhere. I don't know. Do I have another piece that I pick these out with? I don't remember, it's been so long. Space at the end here. Out of curiosity. Hmm. Why is it complaining about that one and not complaining about any? Not complaining about any of the other one. Like, what did I do? I'd like to figure I should use out previous declaration. Mm -hmm. I don't 
Oh, they got... Hmm. This is what... Got me confused here. special about this one that it just because I use it so early on as a bean but <clears throat> but again I expose these as beans too and it doesn't have a problem those not being there. I'm kind of confused here because it's like picking one out of all of them. Which leaves me, and these other ones have been here for a while, so that leaves me to believe I did something somewhere. To make those work. Oh, the the heck that is yes, I did have that problem because I've set hex database for it. Where the F did I see? Using environment variables for project settings and Okay, maybe it's under project settings here. Hang on a second, friends. Uh, oh, environment. Well, there it is. Wow, that was... Um... Alright, and it's gonna be...
So it seems to be running longer, so that might be a good sign. Or not. It's flagging everything. Wow. That's interesting. Wasn't flagging them before, and now it's suddenly all of them are getting flagged. Okay. I mean, if that's that's the way it is, then that's the way it is. I have to. Uh, go and add those to I have to... probably just these three to TTP to remember me and email from I'm guessing so that didn't didn't hear before though but I guess well you know why because now it's actually fine though the I was using the at value annotation and that wasn't actually working or it, it was just giving back a string that was just the thing it wasn't fully resolving it now it's fully resolving it and That makes sense because I fixed those. I fixed those things. Um. All right, let me. I gotta hide this for a second. I mean, these settings aren't like super secret. Um. I have an abundance of caution. Just out of an abundance of caution. Um. Here. All right, we'll see. It is sufficient to make it work now. Mayhaps, mayhaps it will work now. going to do everything oh is it the um, was then just like well, I guess I just gotta put those in there too Email port email from I guess email 
skill list. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's... Might as well. I'm putting them, putting them all in there now, so... Might as well put them all in there. Um... see if this uh, does any better. Probably gonna find one more thing that I have to do. There's always one more thing. good. It is done by now. I don't know if Paige is gonna... It certainly failed to fail. I don't know how long it's gonna take to tell me to do it. I think that that failed. Seven seconds. Placeholder two to three feet and value two to three feet. Running off a running off a branch, kind of. I wonder if the wonder if everything's working on the main trunk. What did I did I change?
Hmm. Uh, let me see. I suspect it. No. I don't know. Try running again. The main project. This is what this is uh, exhibiting the same issue or not. I mean, theoretically, the pull request should be rebased and have my changes in there, but there it is. So what is it coming from? Having the same thing. doesn't have the capital K. So where the hell is that at that's going that? Earth the green beam with the TTP Find an hex application config. How to instantiate action method. Can't resolve place for TTP. Why is it doing that? That's wrong. I've had that wrong in here for a while. Oh, was that what? Oh, did I make that change and commit it? Oh, yeah, I still have like 
cast in here. Uh, oh, I made changes in here and I, and I committed them back. Yeah. That's what that Because I was trying to test that these weren't resolving and I was correct that they weren't both. That's. Um. I had to test comic config in. Um, let's change that stuff around. Oh, I added an official file. Uh, let's see. All right, I will see. Uh, Pikachu one, thanks for the follow. My alerts did not go off. I think Botrix. I was having a problem with Botrix with the alert or trying to log into Botrix. So I think the alerts are kind of not working right now. But uh, yeah, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I'll give you the, the moopsie you would have gotten. Moopsie! There you go. Um, okay, so... Let's go up there. Aha! Now it was successful. Okay. Good. good, 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 okay. All right, there's the star room. That works. Means that should be showing up successful over yonder here. Yay, all right. <laughs> Trying to fix broken tests and feeding and fixing broken tests. Um, all righty then. So, We have some pull requests to do. Bootstrap goes to 533. Breaking change of color modes. I just now use the text to be certain the text was readable. Okay. Mail processing. So control icons, CSS JavaScript, typos. All right, well, this is probably safe enough. We'll, we'll find out if all my all, all my stuff on the page flies all over the place. Well, no, it wasn't. It wasn't safe. Uh, yeah. And fine. Go. Um, spring security goes up a minor release here. Integration examples and docs are out of date. Hey, how about that? Really go over all your docs and find all the stuff that's out of date. Um, Station context fails to load in proxy. Who's three six two defaults in memory OIDC session registry? Causing memory leaks and distributed systems with external session store. Great. If mock user fails before one authorized. Cool for that to be fixed. Okay. Alrighty then. We'll do we'll do the doobie-doo and find out what is 
happened. Find out the hard way if things are broken. And let's see. There's a great OAuth fuel authorization server goes up. And see upgrades, that's it. Okay. That's not bad. What is what's going on? And you seeing something in the chat windows out of the corner of my eye and I don't know. Nothing has actually changed. <laughs> I'm seeing things now. Um So what's there? I'm not even gonna look at the the release notes on that one. I do want to try to get at least start some of our test some of the testing. Um, my back classic, yes, yeah, another one. It's a green light regardless of what's in there. Um, yeah, I wanna. I wanna See if I can start getting some testing done. I'd like to get some things off my list <laughs> that are on there. You know, actually move some things to complete it, whatnot. Uh, email, GUI, what do we get? No pull requests over here. So be it. So be it. All right. And that is building. We will. Need. Um, all right. Yeah, yeah. bring the latest down. No. down and um that's everything there okay well i had a <laughs> jumping on in like immediately and didn't have any kind of chatting or anything Because I started out with the uh, started out with technical issues and then just kind of got right into the right into the meat of it here. Um, so we got that fixed now, which is which is good. The other thing I wanted to look at is it occurs to me that I am not really I don't really have standardization in place for all the input fields kind of protect them against like HTML injection and stuff like that um yeah you know if somebody did put HTML on there it would just kind of it would just kind of paste it would put it out on the page just as is um because I'm using timely for the most part and nothing's going out raw really um but it still might be a good idea to kind of rip things out and make sure there's no script tags in there and stuff and people trying to do like alert thing especially when it comes to the chat stuff i'm pretty sure now the way i've done it um it's now possible to 
put alerts in the, the, the mess up the chat. So let me, in fact, you know what? We can test that right now. Go and do a clean. Also, I should probably run it anyway, just to make sure that the library upgrades and stuff are, haven't just crashed everything. Uh, clean work directory. And blue. Okay, you know what? Let's I'm gonna track down this other message. Dude. What is this? Circular placeholder reference to TTP property. Yeah. a it might be causing a circular reference because thing it whoops well wait I'm doing uh oh no I'm doing these all lower or not maybe URL and stuff Hey, Cyber Detroit. Uh, is this math? No, <laughs> no, this is not math. Trust me. If it was math, I'd be struggling right now. Um, remember me, kid. Like it knows that those aren't particularly rough. But I did make all of these. I noticed I made all these work, but they're not work here. Is that because I was I was getting that? Uh, that's a prop. I, I bet that's another that I didn't know I had before. Um. Secret keys, so hang on a second. Oh, well, actually, I did. Fi oh, I fixed it in the one, but not in the other. That's very interesting.
hurt that. How do I? Place with him. Guard all changes. Uh, and guard Um, hey Corey, thanks for the lurk. Um, one second before I, I, I have the speaker keys open, so I don't want to put that on screen. in my local file um, with the wrong the wrong um, and I want to see if that's what's causing the problem that would say that it was like a circular reference and ends uh, night here. I get some odds and ends cleaned up in this. Uh, okay, so that should be running. All right. I'm getting the regular. I'm getting this. Oh, it helps to actually run the database, doesn't it? <laughs> I was so flustered to getting things done, I forgot to even like start up the database. So that uh, that's a thing. That run because that would be really. There we go. Hey, it looks it works better when the database is running. <laughs> Who knew? Um. All right. So that is that and my channel so yeah like i was saying I, i'm pretty sure i've introduced this very thing here so if i do script type um oh i guess hmm. uh let's i'm not gonna be able to do any attributes here but let's do alert alert uh And that. Okay. Okay. So it didn't didn't run the script. So that's a good thing. Just make sure here not running anything. Now, uh, okay, so there it actually made hello bolt. Not what I want. I don't want formatting. Um, 
Yeah, let's make it even more obvious. Each one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I've introduced a I've introduced a problem here where you can now inject HTML into there and have it speed, which is not great. I mean, it's just funny that it didn't actually run that script, but that might have just been a fluke. Since it's doing everything else. So I'll have to fix that. I've just introduced that. That's a huge, huge gaping bug. Now, I th think what I want to do there is... So, for this input, I, I, so what this got me thinking about was I should probably, probably be ripping out all HTML inputs across the across the entire app because um, there's I can't think of any place where I'm going to let users put HTML in. Um, there is going to be some formatting and stuff um, on like their profile page, but that's going to be through a uh, um, through Markdown and not HTML. So there's that. And, and I can always make that field an exception to the rule. Need, But um, yeah. The other thing too I'm thinking here Part of me wants to shove all of the chat text into a uh, shadow DOM, uh, which would mean that it would not be able to do, but by doing that, it means it, it can't participate in any of the scripting or any of the CSS of the parent. So that's kind of the rub there is that I'd have to, if I did that, I would have to bring Bootstrap back in again uh, in the, in the uh, inside the Shadow DOM in order to be able to have things formatted nicely. Um, and that includes like fonts and all that stuff too. So it gets to be a bit of a pain doing that, um, but it would make it, Somewhat 80% bulletproof against like injections and stuff HTML because um, you wouldn't be able to you wouldn't be able to call anything on the on the bigger page. Um, I don't think I I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to sanitize everything. Um, I figure out why this takes do do just one I don't, know, I don't know what's going on there figure that one out uh so you still work right yeah those still work so uh, i want to see if someone else has done something Java Spring the um and it's my I know you can use the oh. these base two base ten years ago, it's probably Yeah, which is increase spring three point one. Uh, 
Well, you still escape and whatever it's now done. In Java and we see There's no, there's no way in Spring MVC that sanitizes your user inputs. I beg to. That's not. It. <laughs> That's really not. Uh, even ten years ago, that. Um. Okay. No answers on that. Great. What is this? In framework. Add annotations for HTML standardization to bring in these things. And manually, it'd be highly useful to have a set of annotations that you put on objects that result of message converters. So as a string in these objects is for standard HTML sanitizer framework. While well, closing outdated unresolved issues, please reopen it's still relevant. This is still relevant and needed. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, that just goes to show you the kind of, you know, governance some of these projects, some of these projects have. Some of these big open source projects, like their governance is just kind of weird. It's like, Whoever bulk closed this didn't even read it and see that, oh yeah, no, this is actually a really necessary, it was done at 2012 and no one did anything with it until like 2019 and then it was a, it was a, we didn't read this, we're not going to bother reading this. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. You should find it in these fields. Where did you go? How the HTML stat? I guess I should look at that. That's the date. You know, let's see, builder. doing it now now we're doing it at the at the model level I mean or but why not just have a filter that just does everything and then build in a way to have exceptions along the way annotations and control arguments yeah that's like because then you basically have to have to change every one of your arguments throughout the entire system which just seems silly when you really want the opposite you want to you want to mark the things that you do want html in versus the things you don't because that'll be far less of those than than the others um 
Not about HTML set, but third party HTML produces HTML that's safe to embed in your web app. Did I commit last month? Okay, that's a good sign. To include HTML authored by third parties in web application while protecting against cross site scripting. Uh, existing dependencies on JSR 305, the other jars only need it. Are only needed by a test suite. JSR 305 is how only dependency only needed for entertainment. Okay. The policy. Use prepackaged policies, sanitizers formatting, and sanitizers link. Safe HTML. Crafting a policy. Test show how to configure your own policy. Allow elements, allow URL protocols, allow attribute on elements. Require rel, no follow on link to factory. Custom policies. Reprocessors, inserting text in large scale structure. Hmm, okay. Policy rejects an element or attribute that notifies HTML change the listener. It uses to track of policy violation trends and file when someone is making an effort to breach your security. Okay. Uh, that attire ensures that the output is in a subset of HTML that commonly used HTML parsers will agree on the meaning of, but the absence of notifications does not mean that the input is in such a subset. But I assume I can just rip all these. Package policy. Policy factory. How's image elements? How in formatting element? About none. The one that just says none. <laughs> How do I do none? Anti's content teams. Builder. We think they would have one that's just like doesn't allow anything. Isn't that the point for most of the time? Is it don't allow anything? I mean, I like that it, you can say, you know, allow well, certain research, but 99% of the time you don't. <laughs> I guess you just do an HTML policy builder with no allows on it. Policy factory in policy so you can easily whitelist widely used policies that don't violate the current page's origin. Those are all embedded JS. Custom element or attribute policy allow through signed or otherwise known safe code. Everything is denied by default. There are disallow methods, but those reverse allows instead of rolling back overly permissive default. Or if allows and disallows does not matter, disallows trump allows whenever they occur before or after them. Okay. Hey, new gamer, welcome. Welcome on in. Um. Attribute policies are applied in following order elements. Pick attribute policy global on the this is not red. Oh, that's
Check whether Texticide to cloud elements should be suppressed. Glowing policy can be reused, but if you use the factory method instead of build, then binding policies have All right, so I build the policy and then the resulting policy can be used. I mean, policies output channels. That just builds. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. The two factory like build that can be reused, create many different policies. Each back by different. Let's open only tags that allow the creation of stream render. What? What they doing here? Function of some host from HTML. Okay. Uh, right. So then, what does that? That's really all I hear. That's all. Yeah, I don't even know what I would do. <laughs> like, that receiver out. I probably would just do a factory that. And then use the sanitizer and it's sanitized. Just brings it back to Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna try. That's what I'm gonna be. Okay, see, they just they work on factory well. I just do the sanitize there. Just kind of what I want. Um. Question is where right is this in is this in the Maven 
What is in Maven Central? Cool. Copy that. Twenty twenty two oh six oh eight. Is that the right right one? Is that really the last release? Because there's went last month here. Way to oh six eight. Last part. So June. Which way to? I mean, I guess that makes sense because it's not not changing that. Yeah, two years ago. Two years ago. Last month. Okay. Eh, I'll we'll, we'll roll with it. I mean, a wasp is considered the standard anyway. So let's see what this. Do our palm here. Um, here. Number last uh, you know Kaiser in there and oh. even I guess first things first, let's make it a beam in the web. Um, web big. And we'll get a one set up here. Um, what do I do? 
I can just do it as a method. So I didn't, I never marked this locale change interceptor as a beam. I, oh, because just go straight in as the add interceptor. Well, that, okay, that's good. Um, click. Um, this policy factory. Factory. Um, email sanitizer. Builder. In. Third new. Um. Email. Policy. Builder. That's our that's our bean and then um need you know a good way to sanitizing that one Uh, they're talking about actually. Uh, Oh no, here we go. Filter approach. Went to filter. Actually, the advantage of doing it as a filter is it will actually help with, with, with the API as well, too. And not just the. Not just the form commit. Let's 
checker filter security contacts or where request filter token blacklist do filter um uh, uh right for the api for the controller oh, here we go front end controller yeah because i have a cores header filter Once per request, which I think is what I want. Those are interesting. Yeah, I think I want the once per request filter. If I can say new. Last, um, you know, sanitizer. Let's say, and right, first one filter. Now, the trick though. Trick is I need uh, need access to that I I, well it would be nice if I grab the factory the created factory bean. I didn't get that from a filter, right? I think I don't think you can auto wire bring uh MVC filter auto wire custom filter. I mean I mean, yeah, I guess you could just add a component. Create the filter beam, auto wire it in the configuration. Yeah. Would I in the web application initial? Oops. 
Spring web application initializer. Um, web application initializer. Yeah, I was gonna say just register delegating filter proxy in your web XML and based on the profile load one or the other filter into your context. Basically taking the, basically getting rid of the web XML, placing it. Java code. But it also means that the uh, spring is not fully utilized. But can't just auto wire things directly into it. Let's do this. Oh, registration B. Registration B. Big loader. Go for registration. How is it ready? And that's in Spring Boot, so I don't have access.
Hmm. Inner inner step there. Handle. Yeah, I mean I can use a handler interceptor, but I don't. I mean, granted, yeah, if it's an interceptor, it can just use map of that one. Right? At web filter. But again, they just do a new is it interceptor. No. Registration beam. Yeah, they're using filter registration beam as well. Ah, but they're using green food. That's why. Oh, filter registration dot dynamic. They're still doing that in not injecting. Hmm. Let me see. Dynamically filter. With Figure filter you have to override on start up. Yeah, well, just do servlet filter post construct. All right, but what I'm gathering is I can't do what I want to do, but I can, I can do it. But I can't do it with the uh, spring. So, what we'll have to do is I can still leave that other sanitizer filter. I, can, I mean, I can still leave that other um, sanitizer factory where it is. But I'll make a new one here. Another thing too is I have to 
would I register? Um, I want to register. This thing's, this thing's not. request filter. I guess well, we got the request. Let's filter chain. You know, execution per request dispatch on any server container. A request for async dispatches. Facing dispatch. Um, already filtered name. Method determines how to identify the request already filtered. All quotation is based on the configured name of the concrete. probably going to have to, I'm going to want to know, I'm going to want to log when I've actually filtered something. Which it has the mechanism for here. Something uh, kind of like that. All right, let's do what I'm trying to figure out though. Well, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this stuff. layout interceptor to do change stuff in the model and view I 
I have access to the model and view. That's the real difference. Uh, I'm, <clears throat> I'm looking at this. I'm going. Um, <clears throat> if I make it an interceptor, then I can put something in the model that says, "Hmm, you know, kind of whitelists certain quest parameters." But there won't be any model view in freehand, right? This is a post handle here. Hmm. Hey, Varuna. Uh, Interceptor, is that AOP? Uh, yes, ultimately. Uh, down under the covers. Um, Spring will. I don't know if I don't know if Spring's employing. AOP directly, or if it's just calling it in a chain, but uh, usually it's usually it's calling it in a chain. But what it'll do is it will call all of its interceptors in a chain first before calling, you know, with the request. It'll pass it through all of them, and then it will call the actual um, controller method. So it's kind of a it's it's an old it's not really point cuts. Um, more like a order of operations thing, but it works very similar to it where you can have a one that fires off before the controller methods called. And then one that fires off after the controller method. called. I use that here to set the appropriate layouts in fine leaf so that I can swap around as needed. Um, Trying to figure out if I want to. Trying to figure out if I. If I want to do this as a filter or as an interceptor. I feel like at the end of the day, it's probably going to end up being the same. Because I won't have access to the model and view in the pre handle. It hasn't been hasn't been created yet. Um. I don't know how I would whitelist certain attributes from being sanitized if I really want it email to come in on a request. Were you going to subset of each email? Excuse me, or even a subset of HTML. Um, so, you know what? Let's implement who does it matter up there? They implement their chapter.
and um, override. Handler to execute for type and or instance evaluation. Is that something I used somewhere here? Use it there. Oh yeah, here's where I did it. Resource HTTP request handler. There's static resources and optimized way. Yeah, so this was just to make sure I was only doing it for static resources. Okay. Yeah, if this was a, so this was Gip static uh, resources, which I do want to do. So I want to actually pull that. I don't need this going off for every single thing. I just need it for things. Okay. Okay. So turn true here. I don't think I'd ever not return true. So we don't want this holding up the works. Um, I want to do private attic. Oh, logger three like that. Do that later, and then um, private. Policy Factory basically denies everything. Um, so, given that, coming into the request. So I gotta look at all the requests. Um, I 
Quest. Uh, yeah. Cute names. Okay, so then I just gotta loop over them and grab them and see if they need to be sanitized. So we'll stay. Iterable? Real. Real. Oh, it does. It does have an iterator, you just have to. Have to jump through an additional hoop. String. school on this one. What is that? 
to change listener my contact. You need to associate reports with some context you can use to. Context class at all here. If all I want to do is just know if it actually means anything. I mean, I guess I could just compare the two HTML. If they're different, then it did something. from the input the team tag is not HTML password sanitizer green sanitizers with no change notifications only the output leaves the output of the sanitizer sanitizer ensures the output is a subset of HTML Use a partial tree of meaning of this is nullable. Bring element name. Okay. I don't think I need a any context. Um, I'm just gonna put the. Yes, no, last one.
Oh, it wants. Oh, yeah. Get attribute returns a an object. Um, I think uh, string. Or even no strings equal not otherwise the value of other two strings. Um, that there we go. Okay, and then really, I just want to log these. So logger. Um, Warn. Um, HTML and browser. Um, I don't know or yes. And uh, I'll go down. Yes, to what? Element, I guess, what element, uh, whatever from attribute. from first there um I think I can Attribute. Uh, attribute. Atoms value. Optimistic, but we'll see, see what happens here. 
I have a feeling it's going to slow everything down quite a bit, but we'll give it a good push. Um, the interceptors here. Where? There we go. Uh, yeah, interceptor. Change interceptor. Counter. Yes. I'll put this one registry. Right. Oh. Three. <laughs> there new. No. Sanitizer interceptor. Okay. Um. Uh, with this that gets thing right now in here. Copy cast to class web application context and model database. Hey, <laughs> no words. Press context util. I trigger this. Only if you I don't even, I don't even know what that I don't know what's I don't know what happened there.
Ender Fragment Family View. Just do get service. Push header filter. It's here. I've got one that's just refuses to be green. Problem, right? That's why they have it on only certain things. Because you're going to look at every request attribute name and not know what the object is going to be. It's supposed to be a string or not. Well, I, well, okay. I can check to make sure for maybe that's what I need to do. Make sure that these are rings before we do it. If last uh get attribute. Skip it. Anything coming from a form field, with the exception of an upload file, the string. Anything that I've put into the request, like the user and stuff, um, doesn't need this. happier now. <laughs> um, okay. The thing's still working. So far so good. Um, no, man. Yeah. 
work phase. Okay. Very. Uh, let's find. Plug. Has. Sanitized anything? through so I don't think my that airship is doing anything This is not triggering on it. I guess I could see if it even even running in that case, because this is going through the socket. I might have to make it. socket config too. So I'll bet it's not coming through here. Still coming through. Hmm. It might be a better idea to check it on anything else here. Let's go studying. Let's see if I can change this. That's fine. Though I was kind of expecting it to stop it I'm running. Like stopping it from even being inserted.
don't think it's running. I don't think it's running it. for a minute. back in and okay so attribute is session ID Plenty of in there. Weird. 
twist? Am I, am I just completely off base here? Is that not? Be some request after getting. Yeah, right. Request parameter is green or no. You can in the query string or posted from that. Yeah, posted form to the parameters. That's okay. I just got the wrong freaking method altogether here. Um, get the Yeah, all the values that given request parameter has are null the parameter design. Yeah, so it has a uh, okay parameter. So that's what the, that's a pro. So it should be. Everything's gonna be so strange. Okay, so how did you? Is 
these are the request parameters, everything's going to be a string here, which is why I was boggled at the first, first point. Um, <laughs> an extra I was like why is everything failing there alright Corey thanks for dropping by and hanging out 
Um, the that is my value. Looks suspiciously like work. Yeah, it's it's uh, suspiciously like work. <laughs> Uh, welcome on indoors. Yeah, you just missed Corey. Um, I this here. I do have Helldivers too. I do. I've played a little bit. I've soloed a little bit of it, but not not too much. Um, because I've had other things on the plate. But uh, yeah, I've been like kind of dropping in from time to time, just trying to solo what I can. Yeah, I do. I do need to squat up. Um, I think I was I was talking to Overlord Corna about it too, a little bit last um, last Saturday night when we were in Pal World. I think he's been playing some of it, and I'd like to hook up at some point. I can see why they did it on like as a validator and stuff rather than trying to do it this way. <laughs> He's playing now and ignoring us. <laughs> Uh, so what am I doing here? Uh, so, um, I'm trying to, trying to sanitize user input across the app such that they can't type HTML in and have it be successfully saved. Um, because as I've now for most of the app, it's not a big problem, even if they did type HTML in. I only print out as text on the screen, so you would just see the text of it. It's not necessarily a big problem, the problem really comes in um, with the chat that I just did, where um. The chat is, uh, when you submit a chat message, you can put HTML in there and it's actually interpreting it. <laughs> Keep it clean, make this little body table's parents have it. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so technically speaking, I don't necessarily need to do this for the entire app, but I would like to do it because 
I would like to have something in place that would not only protect all the input fields on the on the application, but also the API, because I don't have anything in place to stop that from getting submitted to the API. Not that the H submitting HTML there would do anything necessarily, but it would be nice if I could just kind of boldface reject it across the board. Um, it's the only thing people will be doing at some point is markdown and I, I can just kind of allow that through you know um, but I'm finding that it's uh, there's a reason why not a lot of people have done it this a lot of people just pick and choose their poison and they'll just pick what parameters they need to sanitize and they'll just sanitize those and not anything else. Um, this is kind of clunky right now. And I'm using like the, the OWASP sanitizing library and stuff. Uh, and just told it don't allow any HTML basically. So I'm curious to see what it will do. What it will spit out the other side. Will it spit out the string without any HTML in it or will it spit out a completely empty string or what's going to happen here? You have that function in place why not use it everywhere it's true it's true that's what i'm kind of that's kind of my thought process but now it's kind of i have to manipulate form parameters that have been submitted um i think is possible but the trick here is some of these values are string array. Some aren't. Although it looks like the entry set is always returning string array. String array. Um, I'm hoping I can just change these in place and they will stay. I think they will. But now I gotta figure out, change them in place. Maybe if I just do the string, um, actually holding the value around anywhere, am I? It doesn't really matter. If I just say, uh, let me change value like this. I don't know if it's going to actually let me change value like that. Might. Might. Uh, I mean, I could try it. See what happens here.
this. Things up there this way. All right, well, it kicked off. It blocked element B from request attribute display name. But I don't know if I believe that. Is it still there, right? But it was there from before, so let's do this. Like that, and then let's see. And it's still letting me save that. Um. Yeah, again, blocked element B from request L from request attribute to play name. So it's not uh, trying to block, but it's not actually making it back into the parameter map. Can you? I have to be able to parameter. So, this ring that time value. Those values and that. Seeing if that, I mean, that should get about oh, immovable. That's what I think. Um, I'll 
Fantastic. But now if I can change you. So I can change the off a request body before reaching control. Oh, here we go. Keep HTML filters. They're doing a filter. Request wrapper. Input. They have to take the raw, just get the raw input stream in. Because you can't alter the request. User. My user. endpoint. Body advice interface along with the inner annotation request rest controller advice. Just apply global advice to all rest controllers in the spring application. Okay, so it is what's called on every parameter, I guess. So we're trying to figure out how you're doing a byte array input stream and just pulling these things out of thin air. Looks like it's for every parameter doing it. they're doing they're literally taking the entire the entire body of the request and they're handling it as just one big input stream i guess that were i mean you're just seeing every key value key value key value all the way down So yeah, I work that way. So 
keep each only. So request this, you know, why am I having trouble following what they've done here? Filter chain. They're referencing this. I'm trying to figure out. HD servlet request wrapper. Okay, so it must be. Then put stream on that. This does. No. I can turn this back into a filter and then... Yes. Hmm. Alright. Well, maybe that's all I'll have to do. I'll have to drop back and plant and do that since we can't alter the I had a feeling it wouldn't let me alter the um, the request here I can rec I can alter request attributes but can't alter parameters that came in which makes sense um Oh, the one thing I did want to do, getting this message here somewhere. Intercom is logging discovery in action with Spring JCL. Please remove Commons logging jar from class. Logging discovery and action of Spring JCL. Please remove comments logging jar. Last. Uh, why have that? I pull that in here. Oh, 
sounds like it's also because Dean Utils. mess up my formatting in my yeah, commons validator inclusion commons logging okay um so that should be a little bit happier Yeah, I think I'm gonna hold back on uh, committing tonight until I hope you're working the way I kind of want it to work. Um, but I know right now I am running out of steam. So let's go and put these up here. either anymore all right cool i mean that'll pretty decent uh for tonight i'd say um unfortunately i won't have any i won't have a uh stream tomorrow afternoon um i have family stuff to do uh but i will be live tomorrow night for usual uh friday night how world with friends will be with um Jin and gray and um over corner doing that doing the usual there um and then sunday i i it's a real toss-up i don't know if i'm gonna do a stream sunday or not i have to finish up some day job stuff i need to, there's some day job stuff that has to get done so it really depends on how I feel after that. If I feel like going online and playing a game or two. So we'll see. Um, see how that goes. Um, but anyway, my friends. Let's go see if we can find someone on live space for you guys to go take a look at and say hello to all that stuff. Oh yeah, you know what? The uh, oh Koi is playing Walston. Wow! All right, here we go. I that's I did want to revisit Walston at some point, um, but after well after I finish um, um, well after I finish Lost Epoch, uh, Lost Last Epoch. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to send you over to Koi because he was the first one to show up on the homepage there. Um, so I walked away from that awful launch net. Yeah, I did too. Um, I don't know if it got better or not. I kind of watching, see, see how it looks on there. Um, but, uh, anyway, uh, put those in, put those links in the uh chats there and uh that again will do it for me for tonight technical issues and all we had when we started uh i am just uh, i'm just i'm beat right now um 
thank you so much everyone for watching uh i hope everyone has an excellent morning afternoon or evening depending on what it is for you and hope to see you back here again in the future for some more stuff whatever happens to suit your fancy until then see you bye old story boy finds girl boy loses girl girl finds boy boy forgets girl boy remembers girl and girl dies in a tragic blimp accident over the orange bowl on new year's day good year no the worst <laughs>